Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. A while back I bought some yoga blocks at the dollar store and I was gonna make a Thor hammer with it and then Odin made one and then William Shakespeare made one and I don't know, I kind of lost interest after that so they've just been kind of sitting in my closet for a while and as I was cleaning stuff out I stumbled back across them and I thought well why not make a Viking style hammer not anything historically accurate or movie accurate just kind of freestyling it and see where that goes so today I'm going to make a custom non-historical Viking style hammer let's get to building So I start off the build by splitting this yoga block I got at the dollar store in half. You may wonder why I was emphasizing it's not historical. You'd be surprised how many trolls I get bashing my builds just because it's not exactly how something already exists. The joy of making for me is the process and being creative, not to scrutinize every little detail. Have fun with your builds. There's always at least one person in every video leaving comments about their knowledge of how I messed up the build. It's whatever. I make it how I want to. Haters gonna hate. The yoga block will be the head of the hammer. For the body, I'm gonna stick two pieces of this 36 millimeter thick EVA I got from TNT Cosplay Supply online. I hold the hammer head in position in the orientation I want, then I just map it out as I go. I get one side where I want it, then I mirror the other half by using the cutoffs and a ruler. To match the bevels on the other pieces, I took a stone bit on my rotary tool and slowly sneak up on the angle I want. I usually only run my sanding bit with the direction of the rotation. Going against it will gouge out your material and make it uneven. Put contact cement on the three parts and stick them into place. This yoga block was sitting in the bottom of my closet and it was a little dinged up plus my splitting it in half tore a little bit of the foam so I decided to make some small 2mm foam panels to cover them up and give a nice little extra detail to my build.
I recently cut some foam with my Cricut for the first time and thought it would be an awesome way to get some intricate overlays that by hand would take me hours. Work your magic, robot cutter. While I wait on my Cricut to do its thing, I decided to go back to the table and add the handle to the hammer. I cut a 1 inch PVC pipe to around 15 inches long. Because I might sell this, I designed the handles so that it could be removed to fit into a smaller box for shipping. You don't have to do this. All I have to do is cut a smaller diameter PVC pipe that gets permanently glued in the body and the handle will insert over the top of it and be held in place with two screws. To add a little wood grain on my handle and make it easier for painting later, I use a cutting wheel on my Dremel, put on a respirator with a face shield, and carve in wood grooves. Be careful, I've messed my hand up pretty bad a couple of times from cutting wheels digging into my hand. If you're not comfortable with the tools, you can always clamp it to a vise to make it safer. Time to remove my overlay from the cutting mat. My mats are a little old so I spray them with a little light holding adhesive. My Cricut can cut 2mm foam like a champ. Such a cool time saver and allows me to add details I would have just simplified or omitted. Now time to cautiously tack on these overlays. I only have one shot, one opportunity to seize every, no, 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 to stick it where I want it to go. I lightly put it into place, then when I like the placement, I push the two contact cemented parts together permanently. For all these knot details, I now need to go over them with a flat bit on my wood burner and give the appearance that they overlap each other. I pull up my reference and slowly get the hang of where the line should be burned in.
I looked up Viking Alphabet, not sure how accurate this is, but I like how it looks and I decided to burn in something on the top anyways. According to my reference, I spelled out much props. I'm sure my fact police will give me a comment citation for this, but it looks legit to me. I'm looking at references for Viking hammers. A lot of these little pendants popped up with intricate pommels. I thought it would be a little cooler than just a rounded bump on the end or a leather strap on the end, so I carved out another little hammer shape and repeated some of my previous steps to add details. To add some quick rivets to my raised panels, I removed the chuck on my Dremel and used the small circle to plunge it into the foam. And what would a much props weapon build be without some battle damage? I just go in with a stone bit and randomly gouge out chunks of foam. The foam gets two coats of Plasti Dip and the PVC gets spray paint to seal it all. Then I do my aged metal mist of silver, brown, and black on the hammer and the handle gets a brown spray paint. To bring out the contrast of my overlays, I took a metallic gold acrylic paint pen and went over them all. To me, they're a lot easier to use than trying to keep a brush steady. To dirty it all up, I did some watered down washes of black and brown over the metal, then did the same with the handle, then I dry brushed on some light brown to hit the wood high points. For my handle, I hot glued down a small patch of faux fur, then wrapped the rest of it with some scraps of leather. Once I finished that, I came back with some braided leather lace that I had and glued it over the top of the ravel.
and we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, extremely pleased with the way it turned out. I, I say it's not historically accurate because looking at all the images that I could find, they don't really bulk out like this on the ends. However, the center is very similar to how old style hammers were made. And I threw in the bottom pommel there to kind of give it that old timey feel. As far as the runes and stuff, I was just doing Google searches to find stuff um, like this protective rune. I don't know necessarily if they're really accurate or if they actually mean what they say they mean. I found one that was like a uh, Viking alphabet uh, and I just felt much props out with it. I don't know if that's actually what it's what the runes are intended for, what they mean, but I thought they looked cool. The design of them was pretty neat and I just kind of incorporated it in here and there. Uh, the handle, I really like. it. It's real leather with this nice little braided wrap that I added at the very end uh, just to give it a little bit more detail and the little fur sticking out there. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe you will make a hammer like this yourself and impress your friends with your ability to turn yoga equipment into something much more intimidating. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. Well, you know it's coming, so I might as well hit you with it. Small hammer. Ding, 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 ding.